Hello everyone and thank you for watching Federal Public Utilities Channel 6. I'm Sarah Mack Young and in our studio today we have a special guest with us today. We have Miss Sarah Brown. It's good to see you Sarah. It's good to see you Sarah Mack. Mm -hmm. um, Sarah, let's talk a little bit about, we're going to be talking about South Central Human Resource Agency today yes. and talking a little bit about an upcoming event that y'all are going to be hosting there. Yes. But let's talk about you. Tell everybody at home a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm a Lincoln County girl, born and raised, and proud proud of our community, and uh, worked outside of our community for about 17 years, and have come back to work in the past three years for South Central Human Resource Agency. I'm the deputy director there. Um, over about nine programs, so I, I stay pretty busy, but it's, it's nice to be close to home, and I enjoy um, getting to see my friends and neighbors again, so. <laughs> Absolutely. When you talk about South Central Human Resource Agency, it's a gem in our community, and sometimes I think folks don't realize what a great resource it is for them. Um, you know, the motto is helping people help themselves, and that's something that's really great about SCHRA. But tell folks some of the programs that are based out of our uh, that location, and we need to kind of tell them where it is. Exactly. Um, we're located on at 1437 Winchester Highway. It's across from Stonebridge Restaurant. You won't be able to miss it. Um, I'm pretty sure it was an, a Jonathan Logan or some, some plant years ago, um, but you can't miss us. Uh, we're a big building out there. Um, I think probably when I came to work there, I didn't realize the, the things that we did there. And so it's really kind of been an eye opening for me too. Um, but we help um, individuals with a variety of things. Um, low income families, we do commodities, we do um, the uh, low income home heating assistance program, we do um, a Head Start, an early Head Start, we have a foster grandparents program, we have uh, parents uh, programs that help uh, with um, employment for older Oh, people over 55. So I mean, we have a lot of different programs that really anything, we have those resources that kind of help you, helping people help themselves. We have that resource to kind of get people to the next level. And so adding the Job Center the last fall was just kind of the cherry on the Sunday. It really has been a nice, nice addition to our programming. Absolutely, and there's also things like Meals on Wheels that are yep. based out of there. There's a weatherization program. So you know more than I do. <laughs> <laughs> you also work, um, there's also the parolee program, and a lot of yes. folks do not understand that all those great resources are out right there, there, and these wonderful folks want to help those That's right. in the community, want to give those services, and want to help. So, And the beautiful thing about all that, again, and I even forgot about our, you know, my nutri the nutrition program that I, you know, those are all so vital to this community, but the great thing is we serve 13 communities. We serve over 200,000 people annually with all of the programs that we have and it's just an amazing service. It's an amazing um, resource for helping our communities. It's just, you know, I, I'm, I'm very proud to be a part of that Absolutely. organization. Absolutely. So let's talk about, we've got a job fair coming up and yep. that's very exciting. As yes. you talked about, the job center has been added yes. uh, there at SCHRA. Yes. So let's talk a little bit about the job fair and tell folks who will be there. Okay. Um, we um, added uh, the job center last fall and we've had three, this will be our third job fair um, since the announcement of the Goodman closing. And I think, you know, it's been a tough time for our community with uh, Goodman closing and, and seeing those shutdowns but the, the positive note is that we have been able to open that center in our location and instead of having to drive to Tullahoma or Franklin County, these individuals have been able to come to our office, they've been able to find those resources, we have someone there uh, available to help them. And so that's been, you know, kind of a great thing to see our community, those people come in and get those resources that they really need. Um, this will be, again, our third job fair. It's Monday, February 24th from 9 to 2. I'm having to check a little bit of my notes because it's a lot to remember. Um, but they can see, they can reach so many we have had tons of vendors at every one of them. Um, our, our employers that are there, we've had Nissan, uh, Frankie, some of our local employers. We're actually happy to announce that um, at this last one, we've had Nissan Smyrna, but we're having Nissan Franklin County or, or uh, Winchester this time. So that's kind of a closer location. We've had Toyota, um, several, several um, employers from Huntsville, the Huntsville area have come up. We've really had a lot of, a lot of, um, uh, people just 
taking interest. And that's not just our employers we've had. We have educational opportunities. They can talk to TCAT. They can talk to some other um, resources. Again, they can meet with us to get resources for any assistance they might need, you know, dealing with the unemployment. So it's, it's really been amazing. Right now, I'm going to read a little bit from the list just so I make sure I don't miss anybody. We have um, Tom Thompson Hardwoods. Um, NASA is going to be there. Um, Tyson Foods, uh, Kirchhoff Automotive, the Truck Driver Institute, just um, a variety of things. So, I mean, want to make sure we get the word out that we've got a lot of people coming. So, <laughs> definitely. Now, what do folks need to do before they show up? Do they need to go out and check the website? Do they need to go on and like apply? What do they need to bring? With I really them? think, you know, there's a lot of that kind of face-to-face -face conversation, I would say just, just kind of getting in there and meeting with the individuals. They have um, opportunities to, to fill out applications while you're there. The employers kind of take information from you. I think just come in there, you know, with a positive attitude and, and just looking for, you know, something, you know, something good to happen. I think that's kind of what employers are looking for and we, we've, we've really had some, some great success with, with it. We've had uh, 268 people so far I mean so that's that's great that's a great statistic and yep. getting folks out there and finding um, finding them something to help them find work yeah I mean matching those employers with employees you know that's the great joy that you you can you can we can sit in our office and we can do it over the phone but it's nice to see that face-to-face -face contact and to see those rotation of people the the hallway going down to where they're all located is right in front of my office and all day long it's just back and forth and it's just nice to see that people and we've had several comments I walked out one day behind an individual who had come and he said this is the best job fair that I'd ever been to he said it was just there were so many resources there you know okay. and it and sometimes you know job fairs will be played and not that it's a great idea to do this but um, job fairs will to be done by one employer this is the joy of this is we've got 27 different employers that are going to be there so right. that's pretty amazing to have yes. that opportunity so so there's going to be folks from Tennessee but there's also going to be folks from Alabama Alabama Hill area mm -hmm. so you know folks you want them to take advantage of that and Absolutely. come out if you do have a resume I guess you would bring that yeah you could certainly bring anything like that bring those resumes bring you know anything you think would be valuable to, to share with the individuals um, if you're interested in educational opportunities any you know transcripts anything that you could kind of share with them that some background b behind what what you're looking for and looking into doing um, we've just got some great resources to um, meet with those individuals and I think every, I think your question will get answered if there's not somebody there to answer your question we'll find somebody absolutely <laughs> but you don't have to have a resume no it's we not a requirement to, at all no yeah, we want folks to understand that there are going to be applications there you're going to get that face-to-face -face time with people yep. you're going to be able to talk to them yep. and discuss uh, about opportunities yep. at that place of employment so it's definitely a time to you know put on your best and yeah. put your smile on and be Absolutely. ready. Absolutely. And I think, you know, our our excitement over being able to, you know, opening the job job center at our agency is, you know, we have seen a tough time in this community. The closing of Goodman is a historic um, industry in our community. It's just, I drove by the, the plant yesterday and it was just, it was just odd to see, you know, I mean, because I've grown up in this community and it's just my friends and neighbors. I have lots of people that I know that have worked there lifelong that, you know, I mean, it, it has been a sad thing, but it, that, you know, again, that positivity comes from our being able to provide some kind of assistance to these individuals and to give them resources to, to go to that next step and move on to whatever thing comes next so absolutely now if they can't come that day Sarah uh, on the 24th for the job fair what can they do they can contact Travis Wilson that number is 931-309-0962 and I'm sure y'all share that some um, but that that he, he can get you in but at our office is open every day for individuals I know Monday mornings we have lots of lots of people coming in to renew their unemployment uh, benefits our office gets pretty busy Monday mornings at 8 o'clock we, we you know we we have those coming in but we have now staff every day at our office it was just a couple of days a week but we now have staff every day so if someone has an employment issue they need to come by anytime it doesn't have to be during the job fair and any other program that they think visit our website, you know, 
give us a call. I, I promise you we'll find somebody to, to help. Absolutely. We kind of told folks where you're located, but what is the phone number there for SCHRA? It's 931-433-7182, and our website is www.schra.us. And so those are great white resources for folks to kind of learn a little bit more about what's going on with the job fair, but also to get in touch with Travis and find out more there and all the other programs that are available. Yeah. I, I feel like folks don't always know about no, those programs they don't. and it's a great way for you to take advantage of those and get Absolutely that help. If you right. need a little bit of help, these nice folks want to talk to you Absolutely. and they want to help to you. And it doesn't just have to be for you. If you know a neighbor that's in need or you have a grandparent that you think might, might need some meals. I mean, there are so many different things you can always call. You can call me directly. It doesn't matter. I will get, we'll get our staff on it. We'll find, we'll find any solution that we're able to. Absolutely. So these, they want to help. <laughs> yes, that's our job. I mean, that's every day. Our staff, I think that's what, what validates every day is knowing that we have people walk out that when they, can, when they walk out, they're better than they walked in. And, and it's, it's just a really good feeling that you, that you get to kind of help that. It's rewarding. Really, it's very rewarding. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, we've been here talking with Sarah Brown, and we've been talking about South Central Human Resource Agency and the upcoming job fair. And we want to remind folks when that's going to be in the Toms. Okay, it's February 24th, that, that's on a Monday from 9 to 2. And we hope that you'll stop by the SCHR, SEHRA building located at 1147 Winchester Highway. Again, that's right across from St the old Stone Bridge restaurant. So, <laughs> um, and a brand, the building may be old, but it looks brand it new. It does look brand new. We've done a lot of updates. <laughs> so it looks really good. There are logos out on the front. You can't miss it. No. Um, but if you do have questions before then, tell them again how they can contact. You can call our office at 931-433-7182 or visit our website at www.schra.us. All right. Well, we've been talking with Sarah Brown. We thank you, Sarah. Nice um, to be here. <laughs> always enjoy it when Sarah comes in. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we look forward, we hope you, our viewers, uh, will tune back in next time, we'll, and we'll see you again. <laughs>